this really this is like a little follow on from um, the little vlog I did last time about Di Vernon. Um, I had lots of replies about the Vernon vlog, um, lots of comments. Um, so um, people had also spoke about Ed Marlowe and those things, saying that uh, there's a lot of controversy about Marlowe, and yes, there is. Um, I'm not really going to get into all of that. Um, but at the end of the day, um, I'd be better with what Marlowe published uh, or without it, and we are all definitely better for it. Um, I think uh, I love Marlowe stuff. I've watched lots of videos and DVDs over the years. Um, I never met the man. Um, I wish I had, but you know these things happen. So I have quite a lot of his material. I have all these riffle shuffle stuff. Um, I have, you know, the whole corner back here. That this whole bottom shelf is all to do with Ed Marlowe, Mint, and all the rest of it. Um, but just to let you know that not all of it is all technically really really difficult stuff. There's some really difficult stuff in this book, but not all of it is um, is difficult. So this book is Marlow Without Tears, or the Tears book as it's called. It's a great book. It's a fantastic book. I don't know if it's available now, I've got no idea. Uh, but there's some great stuff in there. There's deck switches in there, there's false deals in there, there's um, there's lapping material. Uh, there's a thing called the bomb door card, which is a way of kind of, I suppose, doing a bottom deal kind of switch thing at the same time. But it's not used, normally deals are used for gambling type routines or dealing around tables. The bomb door card is a totally different thing in here. There's also a, there's top chain stuff in here. Some great routines. Um, uh, Leipzig would have loved this, uh, all of, a hull of a trick or something, God. yeah, there's lots and lots of stuff in here. It's a great book, um, some, some fin fantastic stuff in it. So, Marlowe stuff, for me, I love it, personally. Um, Vernon always said that, you know, Marlowe would have come up with all the stuff that he'd come up with, it's just, as I said before, it just so happened that Vernon was there first. And there's lots of people going about the quality of Ed, Ed Marlowe's stuff, you know, or the quantity of it as well. Um, I think this is only a personal thing that, that Marlowe was a, a kind of real um, precise card, card handler. You can tell when he's on, if you look at videos, it's he, he tells you about the fingers and all this kind of thing, and it's real detail. Um, and the descriptions are very detailed. You need that. So, for me, Marlowe fantastic and I love watching all the, the videos that I have of them or the videos that I've got. Um, I've transferred things onto DVD for myself um, and also there's stuff I think that came out later on on DVD. But I have the old uh, Randy Wakeman tapes that came out um, and they're just fantastic. Uh, really, really great. They're great stuff. It's just Marvel doing everything. There's some fantastic information or some, fan sorry, some fan fantastic footage of Marlowe, Charlie Miller and uh, Di Vernon on a set of DVDs that you can get from Dave Solomon called All In The Cards. Uh, it's a great set uh, and it's worth getting. Uh, you'll see guys on there, Bill Malone's on there uh, doing some of Marlowe's techniques. Fantastic. And then you should also get all the Malone stuff, Marlowe and Malone, um, fantastic set of DVDs that came out uh, years ago now. But fantastic and uh, those are really really good so i should have mentioned please like and subscribe um to the vlogs uh, let your friends know <laughs> so marlo yeah great uh, i love what he does sometimes there's maybe a lot of material a lot of um, different variations of one trick you know but hey you've got to go through them and pick the good stuff out that's what you've got to do so marlo fantastic um, also, someone had mentioned uh, John Ramsey. Could I say something about John Ramsey? Um, again, I never met John Ramsey. Uh, John Ramsey died in 1962. He was born in 1877. Um, 
Ramsey was different from all of them. Uh, from all guys that were doing kind of close-up stuff. But Marvel, uh, Ramsey worked on routines really to fool magicians. He was a magician fuller. <laughs> That's what he did. Although he could do stuff for real people as well. But a lot of his routines were put together so specifically to fool uh, magicians. And they did. So I'm going to say something here and lots of people may come back. Um, maybe this is a bit of controversy as well. I've actually read letters um, from Di Vernon to John Ramsey asking um, asking for Ramsey to describe what he did because he didn't know. So people like Vernon were all fooled by Ramsey. Everyone was fooled by Ramsey. And I've heard a lot of people saying that they just didn't know what Ramsey was doing. And it wasn't until uh, the Ramsey books came out by Andrew Galloway. And Andrew Galloway is a very quiet man. Um, and if you can seek out Andrew Galloway and you want, you know, he's the man to speak to, obviously, about Ramsey. I've been in Andy's house many times. I've sat and watched that uh, Ramsey footage of Ramsey performing and doing things. Um, and it's great. Absolutely fantastic. Um, but Ramsey did things to fool other magicians, and he did. There is a story about one of uh, Vernon's friends, and I'm not going to mention names, but one of Vernon's friends had saw Ramsey before Vernon had. And Vernon asked him, what does he do? What does this man do? He says, he makes coins vanish. And Vernon said, well, what do you mean? Does he do a French drop? What does he do? Does he must do this. Or... He said, no, he doesn't do any of that. They really vanish. And that is the impact that he had on magicians that really knew what they were talking about. They just couldn't figure out what Ramsey was doing. Anyway, I don't really want to go on and on and on about this kind of stuff because the man to ask is, is Andrew Galloway. I'm only telling you um, what I've been told uh, through stories and people that I knew, uh, people that I do, I still know. So, um, you know, that's that's what it is. So don't forget about the old guys. They've all been doing, they've did probably everything that we're all doing now a long, long time ago. Uh, and as we, you know, as everyone says, we stand on the shoulders of giants and we do. Um, it's just a shame that the younger guys maybe and uh, obviously they don't know because they're younger, but eventually, as Chris, um, Chris Wood said, you know, Vernon is like a fine wine. Uh, when you're into magic long enough, uh, you begin to appreciate how good Vernon was. Uh, also, Marlowe, Ramsey, all of these guys, Al Alex Elmsley, genius, absolute genius. Now, again, never met the man. I can only tell you what other people have told me, people that did know him. Um, I was also told, just to go back to Marlow again, that Marlow could do anything when you asked him to do it. He could just do it. Um, that, that for me, is very, you know, that, that's amazing. For, for just to someone to mention something and he knew what these people were talking about, they could just do it. And I've got that first hand from a man that knew him, so he could just nail everything. So, fantastic technician, fantastic magician. And apparently he had a really, really, really great sense of humour. Um, obviously you don't get that from the books, but uh, yeah, fantastic. All three magicians are fantastic and anything by any of them uh, is just worth getting. Okay, uh, thank you for listening um, and uh, I'll see you the next time. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.